What's up guys? I've been asked for quite a while now to make a guide on my permit boosting solo temporas method. First things first, you want to look at the inventory. I have 19 inventory spots available to catch harpoon fish in. That is important if you do not have the wieldable hammer or you want to use a dragon harpoon. You have to have the hammer in your inventory. Same for the spirit angler set and a rope. You will catch one wave that you actually have to hook on to the uh, totem pole for, otherwise you're going to lose a bunch of your shit. You're going to catch like seven or eight fish, and you're going to start cooking them, waiting on the double fish spawn. There it is right there. You can most of the time get seven or eight cooked. Once you're at this spot, you should be able to fill up your entire inventory here. Uh, right after, you might be able to cook one or two. Sometimes you have to go straight to the totem pole. It just depends. And you're just going to cook all your fish whenever the inventory is full. One important thing here, for this method to work, you're going to need to be on the Lunar Spellbook. You're going to need the runes for Humidify in your inventory. Or for me, I have the Toma Fire and Water Runes and Astro Runes in my room pouch. Now the fires on this side of the map that spawn, uh, you're more than likely going to want to extinguish those. Personally, I extinguish them, otherwise... There's a chance that one misclick can scuff the entire run. You see I dropped two harpoon fish there. That is important for the first time you are launching fish at Temporos. You only want to shoot 17. That will get the Temporos energy below 10%. It actually gets it to 4%, which means he will no longer use the giant wave. Therefore, fires can continue to spread. That does mean that phase one is not over, so you have to hustle and catch another full inventory of fish and cook them. Thankfully, it pretty much lines up perfectly to where you can catch the tail end or most of a double fishing spot here. The key to this is to either be fishing at a double fishing spot or be cooking at all times. Now, there is one location uh, where if fire spawns over there, I try to let it spread because there's plenty of time at the end to put the fires out. I can show you right here where that spot is that I'm talking about. Otherwise, I, I pretty much always put them out. All right, and whenever you have a full inventory of cooked harpoon fish, you're going to launch all 19 of them. Even though the boss technically submerges after one, you're going to launch all 19. As soon as your inventory is depleted, you're going to go harpoon the spirit pool, get the boss down to roughly 60%. If it's a little bit above or a little bit under, that's fine too. If you make it to this point here, you are pretty much good to go. Um, you have a ton of time to get this next inventory of fish. And you're going to get another 19 harpoon, harpoon fish, cook them, and then launch all 19 of them again. Once your inventory is full again, going to launch all the fish. You can see all the fires over there. That is a lot of points just waiting to be extinguished. GZ on 93 fishing. And for this one, you will not be attacking Temporos directly. Uh, after launching your entire inventory of harpoon fish, you want to fill up your entire inventory with buckets. You're going to start, you're going to click to move. And then on the way over there, you can go ahead and cast your hum humidify. You want to uh, be moving before you cast it. Sometimes it makes you like stutter step like it did right there, but. Most of the time, you're going to continue to walk while you cast Humidify. And then the goal is to put out all the fires. In this uh, particular game, you can see there's actually quite a bit of space here where there, there aren't any fires. Uh, there actually aren't nearly as many fires this game as there normally are. 
Still plenty of fires. There's still plenty to make it worth, for sure. One thing that you do want to keep an eye on, though, is the storm intensity. Do not let that hit 100. If it hits 100 during this phase, you lose. It's really nice whenever the fire spreads in a spot that's not annoying on the other side, too. Then you can really rack up a whole bunch of points. That being said, this is still not a bad amount of points. This will probably be close to the minimum amount of points that you're going to get from this method. Once you're on this side, if you see the double fishing uh, pool, you can go ahead and grab a fish or two. If you get two, you don't have to cook it. If you only get one, you do have to cook it. Or, I mean, you can always just catch two. Once you have all the fires put out, go ahead and launch your either one cooked harpoon fish or both of your raw harpoon fish. And the boss submerges again. You kill it, and it's GG. You should be able to do roughly, I think you can do about 70-ish percent down here. So as long as you're, you've got the boss's health to 70% or less, you're good. And I believe I end this game at about 10,000 um, points, which ends up being 12 loot permits. You definitely don't want to get too greedy. Uh, you can see right here in this game, I have a lot more points. There were a ton of fires during this game. But right towards the end, I let the storm intensity get a little too high, and I made it right to deposit the harpoon fish, fish right as he hit 100 energy. And yeah, unfortunately, I wasted the entire run just because I wanted to get greedy and put out a few extra fires. But as long as everything goes well, you should be able to get roughly five games six games in if they're they're faster per hour so you're going to be getting about 60 to 75 ish points an hour which i would say is pretty solid but yeah that is my solo permit boosting temporos guide if you like it hit the like button and maybe the subscribe button too to catch more videos thanks again for watching until next time peace